So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're just going to be talking about how I am so drained by social media. Now I've talked about the pressures of social media, the inauthenticity of social media, and just how this generation operates with it. But lately I feel like I've been super drained. Lately I've been feeling like I'm seeing the same things over and over again. Lately I've been feeling like there are so many people that are overtly consumed with social media and it's really frying my brain. So I just really wanted to go on a rant about how and why social media is straining and draining and how it's been affecting myself as well as I would assume so many others within this generation. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I personally feel as though social media has reached its pinnacle of success, meaning it has climaxed to the point where you can really do anything you want with a handheld device. All of us are connected globally. All of us have free will to post what we want. And many of us utilize social media for a plethora of reasons. My Instagram page was disabled because one of my so-called subscribers was upset with something I said in a video and reported my page over a hundred times. Instagram flagged it for impersonation. I don't know how I can impersonate myself. And I spent four months without an Instagram page. After about a few weeks to a month, I did make another page and built it up to a little bit over 2,000 followers. And it was such a contrast to go from having a page with 12,000 followers, 1,000 plus story views, so many requests, getting 1,000 to 3,000 likes on my photos to receiving a much lower version of that type of engagement. But what I realized was as much as that would have been a downfall for somebody or a depression starter, a letdown, a social disappointment, it was almost relieving for me. It was almost relieving to take four months, scale back social media usage and influence and just be real. In that time, I saw my YouTube channel grow exponentially because I put a lot of energy into creating content almost on a daily basis. And now that I have my page back, if you're wondering, how I got my page back. I had to pay this hacker from overseas. I definitely spent like $600, but it just doesn't feel the same now that I have my page back. I personally feel like although I love having my original page back, taking that four month deficit changed the way how I feel about social media. Now that I have all of my original followers from childhood and college and the very few celebrities I follow, all of the blog pages, and also the addition of more people following me, it's like I've gotten back to the point where I feel really oversaturated. I feel like for the past two weeks, I've been seeing the same stuff and not in a deja vu format but in a format where everything is the same but on different people in different situations and different users i'm really burnt out with the whole kanye west kim kardashian julia fox nick cannon stories and i know there are other topics that have been hammered in all of our faces for the longest and it makes me question do i even care that much about social media or am i the type that's really using this for the right reasons and obviously the only reason why i'm on social media is because i have a brand to push i've been working on music as well as i run a modeling agency see so I have to use it. But I always wondered if I was one of those people who get their life through social media, how would I feel? And I know the word is drained. I keep seeing a redundant cycle of the same imagery and I feel hypnotized in a way. It's like two famous people start dating, somebody gets a BBL, somebody is dripped down in designer, then you have a bunch of girls took a vacation and are in the club clapping their cheeks and sticking their middle finger up and it's a different group of girls every weekend that I'm on social media. Then you have people promoting their OnlyFans, you have the party promoters, you have the bottle girls telling you to book a section with them, then you have the girls who throw shots at their baby daddy, then you have the latest celebrity or Instagram influencer Beef. Then you have the beauty and fashion influencers serving looks. Then that's when you sprinkle in the few motivational quotes, the business owners promoting their products or services, some of the more serious pages, and then the regular people who post every so often just to give an update on how their life has been going. And then you repeat this every 30 days and you will have the same content each time. And I'm not necessarily against this lifestyle. Part of it is authentic. So I'm not mad at that. I enjoy fashion and beauty influencers that actually influence their beauty. But when you think about what you keep visualizing, it's no wonder why as a society and generation, we are so fascinated with wealth and oversaturation and flexing and oversharing and just social media as a whole. I don't see how other people are not burnt out after some time. I don't clock in at a job, but I'm always busy working on my brands, whether it's music, the models, or my personal YouTube channel. I'm juggling a lot. But in between all of that, the times where I do get on social media and scroll down my timeline, it's almost like I'm seeing the same thing and it's really wearing me out. It's almost like it's 
on purpose too. I definitely think the social media algorithm is set up in a way to keep us focused on things that make others money and things that make us want to spend money, things that make us insecure, things that make us envious of other people, things that entertain us, things that maybe we shouldn't know about other people. It's become a hub for things that can be dandy but dysfunctional at the same time. And I'm honestly tired. I love social media in a sense where when it was new, it was fun to customize an online version of you where we're all connected so it makes communication and influence easier. And let's be real, you can make a lot of money on here. But the side effects of social media has become very aggressive over the last two to five years. And it's not just for the average user, it's also the people who we look up to, the people with the most followers, and the people who are behind all of these big pages and platforms. If you think that your favorite IG model is happy and living luxurious 24 seven, you're definitely wrong. People are people and we are human. Humans get tired and that's why we need sleep more than we need water sometimes. If sleep and water replenishes the body and rejuvenates the soul, then that means it goes hand in hand with keeping us alive. So in the same breath, taking a break from the draining, constant, and never-ending cycle of social media would be a partial solution to me. What if the government imposed three to five days out of the month where Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Snapchat were just dormant? YouTube is actually not considered a social media platform by definition, so we can leave good old reliable YouTube out. I'm being a little bit biased, but for real, I'm drained by a lot of this stuff. I feel like a TV dinner coming out the microwave sometimes, and acknowledging that is the first step to stepping out of the hypnosis that we are currently under. I truly think that a lot of us are really self-consumed with what is going on in the media and we've now blurred the lines between entertainment and overtly expressing things that we just don't always have to be privy to. I mean, when's the last time you really knew what was going on locally? Some people don't even watch the news anymore because you can go on social media and see what's happening and it has benefits, okay? Not everything is negative about this, but when it seems like we are just living the same lifestyle over and over, I think it truly diminishes our quality of life. And I think people should definitely get out more. I know this is the pandemic and quarantine and lockdown. I get that. So we have relied on social media to keep us afloat and entertained during this time. But even before that, we were still very much consumed with all of the things that go on on social media. I've just been feeling really drained. It's like I can't even think of good video topics anymore because every single time I get on social media, I don't really see that many enriching topics to talk to y'all about. I feel like I've covered all of the messy and celebrity driven topics. I feel like I've talked about a lot of the colorisms and all of the isms. I feel like I've talked about that. But I feel a little bit hindered and creating a little bit more thoughtful content sometimes because when I get on social media, I'm completely drained and my brain is fried and I'm uninspired because it's always the same thing. We have put a lot of focus, especially in the black community, on things that don't enrich us. And I'm not saying cut out all of your guilty pleasures that entertain you because we do need that balance. But I am saying that we have to allow for other imagery to take precedent sometimes. It can't always be who bought the latest Chanel, who's beefing with who, whose baby daddy cheated, which celebrities are breaking up. It can't always be that. Pop culture is important, but the culture is important. There would be no pop culture without our culture being enriched through what actually is real life and it's definitely not social media. So I'm just ranting. I was just thinking about this today. I don't know if y'all agree with me. I know this is kind of a different topic, but I just feel super drained by social media. And I think acknowledging that we all could do a lot better with what we consume and how we consume it would definitely make our lives a lot better and increase our quality of life overall. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave your commentary on my commentary down below in the comments section. I really want to know what you guys think about this topic. Don't forget to go and stream my new song, Ballin'. Y'all know Ballin' has been out. We're almost to 20,000 views on our YouTube channel. Keep bringing them streams up. I'm doing really good on Spotify. So if you're on Spotify, thank you. Thank you to all of my listeners. We got to get that song up on the charts because I know, I just know I'm going to make it, okay? I got some more stuff coming for y'all. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks. Maybe after you take a break from social media, after watching this video if you are drained you know take a break you could come back to me and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys queen chama in this bitch they say my drip is so much they had to get a couple ponchos right. now i'm getting chips and they nachos i'm a time for pockets full i'm minus six no toronto uh. i knock you down like dominoes then dip on y'all like bomb i'm the one one i'm too much trifecta i'm three much yeah. full play eat a nigga up like it's free lunch yeah. toupee i stay on your head like a weave on and the whole city gonna know what we want they do what i say but my name is not simon uh. fly like an eagle jason peters i'm the lion really? on fire like the amazon but i ain't in my prime yet on fire like the Amazon, but I ain't in my prime. And now I'm born.